welcome to the tiny red house. This um, front porch and stairs are not attached. Um, the door has changed colors a couple of times. I can't decide what I like best. Uh, I have some shelves over here in the corner that I've been using sort of as a closet, um, and they are not attached. But what is attached is the loft ladder. There's one eye here that it hooks into for when it's not in use, so it's out of the way. I have lots of hooks for hanging clothes. There's a little shelf up there. And um, I had an antique writing desk in this side with an office chair and it fit perfectly. I just took it out so you could see what the space looks like. Um, and also these shelves are not attached. I just put them there. I put my dirty laundry in those. And the little basket things are from Ikea. I have a toaster oven. There's a little uh, fridge down here. And also some shelves. I wanted to put um, some cabinets down here and just haven't gotten around to it. So those shelves work, like for now. The sink and faucet. Um, hot water is from an on-demand propane hot water heater. And you can hear it kicks on as soon as you turn on the hot water. Uh, there's hot and cold going in and a gas line going in from outside. There's a propane tank. This is the kitchen area. I've got my little bowls and things and I like nuts and jars and just random snacks and stuff. And this is an Ikea rail uh, system that I really love because you can just move things around wherever you want them. The shower has roofing material, which I think is really cool. It's shiny and it looks neat. And it works. And there's a hot water heater again. A door might be nice. I've been using this curtain. Um, but if there was a flat door, I think that might work a little bit better than the, the shower curtain. Uh, over here there's some little shelves just for storing bathroom stuff. Composting toilet. Uh, another little window over here. This is the breaker box and the power. It's got an on-off switch in case you need to just shut power off from the inside and it plugs in from the outside. Everything's plumbed with PEX pipe and it's all exposed right here so if you ever needed to do anything you can get right at it. And this is the view looking back from the kitchen and then from the front door looking back in and um, now for up in the loft so you just lift up the loft ladder to get it out of that little eye and then I put the plumbing pipe down and it just slides right on and you can climb up and here's the bed it's uh, an Ikea mat I think it's about a full size mat and I put foam on top just to make it really soft and comfy um, and this is there's some space back here to put books or I have an alarm clock and a light uh, with a power cord. Three of these lights have plugs that you can just plug in something. Oh, I put this little tin foil because the light was too bright. Um, this is the really awesome skylight, which opens and closes manually. There's a little thing under here that you just twist. to get it to open or close. And then this curtain I made because it was too bright in the morning. I didn't want to wake up at six in the morning when the sun came up. So it's just a, a rod that kind of hooks into these two little L's. And it works pretty well to block out sunlight.
but having the skylight that opens and closes is really nice up here. And this is the view looking back from the bed. So that is um, the little red tiny house in a nutshell. Thanks for watching.